network security, authentication, radius, a wireless access point, 802.1x lab. When I created this series, I was thinking of the best way to show you, you know, radius authentication and solutions available. I decided to record a video that might be, well, in a way, a little beyond CCNA security and things that you're supposed to know at this level. A little, not crazy advanced. It's WPA2, WPA Enterprise. What we mean by that is, it is on your screen at the moment, it means that we will use Active Directory to authenticate our users. Of course, uh, Cisco, CompTIA, you know, they will not expect you to know that on your exam in details. Still, it is a very, very popular solution in the real world. And I decided to create a simple lab for you, show you how it can be achieved on on a Windows Server 2008 and a Cisco access point. In, in this lecture, we are going to talk about this lab in general. We will test the access point because it is pre-configured for a pre-shared key. It means it's not a radius at the moment. I want to test it. I have not used this access point for, well, I don't know, two months or something. I want to see if it's still up and running and then we will implement uh, radius authentication and see if we can connect using a wireless laptop and an Active Directory account. Let me show you the topology. The access point that I'm going to use is, I think, one of the most popular access points that Cisco have ever made. It's 1131. In my case, it's AG. It is connected to a switch and I have Windows Server 2008. To be more specific, it's SBS. IP address 172.16.1.2. It's over here. Access point will be 172.16. I just realized you can't see that IP address. Let me fix that for you. And just move it. Crap. Here we go. Okay. And there is a wireless laptop just a simple HP laptop. I am connected to this laptop using a wired, uh, it, it's it's a cable connected to the same switch actually. It doesn't matter, it's, it can be the same subnet. The idea is to use a wireless card to, to connect to, um, to this access point when we are done and we want to test it. Okay, that's our topology, I hope it makes sense. I will connect to the access point now and we'll see what's going on on it. Okay. I hope it's admin and Cisco. Yes, it is. Good. Remember, always use passwords like that in a lab. Do not come up with, oh, well, it makes sense to, nah, don't do it. Don't do it. Right, let me do show run and see what's on it. I expect to see two SSIDs, two networks, right? And the reason for that is that I have my main network and a guest VLAN as well. It's not important uh, in this lab. We are going to use the main network anyway. If you've worked with access points before, I'm pretty sure you know that solution. A very popular solution, people create guest wireless networks. 
and they are isolated. There is no magic behind, it's just a villain. And I use a firewall to block access. Okay, so we can see that is my main network, MKM1. That's what I am after. I use WPA2. I have no idea what the password is. Let's. I could crack it, but it will be easier if I just change it. So I go here, I paste it, and then we'll use this guy here. And zero means uh, it will not be encrypted for now. And let's use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not the best password as you can imagine. It's absolutely fine for now. Show IP interface brief. We'll have to change the IP address because it's wrong. You can ask why did you decide to use 1.12? And there is a good reason for that because on on Windows 7 2008, there is everything set up for that IP address. I use that for a Linksys access point. I, of course, I'll show you all policies and settings because it's my production server. I don't want to create new policies and uh, rules because as you can imagine, you can break things. That's why it makes more sense to change the IP address here and use something that is already in place. Let's go back to that guy. Okay, let's test it first. See if I can connect. All interfaces are up. I'm not using that interface, that's fine. Okay. We are after... Oops. This guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come on. Okay, good. Okay. To verify an access point, show dot eleven AS. I was authenticated. That's a static IP address on that laptop. That's absolutely fine. I am authenticated. Okay, I was connected. It means that this access point is okay and uh, we will be ready to add a radius on it. Let's change the IP address on an access point to show IP interface brief. It's an BVI interface bridged virtual interface because you want to bridge wireless and LAN. Again, it's, it's security training. We'll not get into details here. The idea is it is BVI interface that we are going to, to use. And IP address we want is 172.16.1.12. Right. Show IP interface brief. Okay, let's make sure we can ping our radius server, which is 172.16.1.2. And we can ping it from, uh, from this access point. That's a good sign. It means we can reach our authentication, our AAA server. That's that's a good thing. Okay, again, we have an access point. It's connected to a switch. A radius server is connected to a switch. And a laptop that we are going... Actually, let me put the IP address for it. That is 172.16.1.199. Okay, because... That's the access that that's the IP address that this laptop uh, has at the moment. It's a static IP address. It doesn't it doesn't change anything. The idea is to check and verify wireless settings and enable radius on it. That's all I wanted to cover in this video. In the next lecture, we are going to actually implement. Uh, radius and we'll see how it goes. I hope it's going to work. I'll show you how it can be done using Windows Server 2008. 
Thank you very much.